First Friday of every month is always a treat for art lovers in Grand Rapids. Lakeland News reporter Sherell Moore introduces us to a few of the September artists who work, whose work is featured downtown. No matter which day you visit Grand Rapids, you're bound to see art and color everywhere you turn. But on the first Friday of every month, you can multiply that by 10. It's really nice that there are a lot of these and they're very colorful, so it really, I think, brings some life and vibrance to this new edition of the Rife. First, we head to the McCrosty Art Center, where we were introduced to two artists. Aaron Olson Rainers is an abstract artist. He hopes his work makes the viewer ask questions. A lot of what they're about has to do with ambiguity. Um, so in my own life, trying to draw from my own experiences and make work that um, kind of encapsulates part of who I am and what I know. Nicole Havkos created her pieces with unique materials, such as sewing pattern paper and industrial felt. She hopes people will see that there's beauty in things that are a little grotesque. I think with my art, I like to ride this line of like beautiful and creepy. So I would love it if people came up and thought it was really lovely, but at the same time, really strange. Over at the Rife Center, there was another gallery going on. The murals you see behind me were painted by the fourth graders of ISD 318 last spring. I basically made like a light purple and a darker purple, and then we just did like random colors. The kids created the murals with the help of a professional artist. Aaron Squadroni didn't work on the project, but he has worked with the fourth graders before. Whenever I get a chance to work with uh, younger students, it's, it's really exciting to sort of see new ideas and see the openness that they have. Both of the galleries will be up until the end of the month, so you have a little time to see these artists work for yourself. I liked how it turned out. Reporting in Grand Rapids with this week's In Focus, Shrum Moore, Lakeland News. If you enjoyed this segment of Lakeland News, please consider making a tax-deductible contribution to Lakeland PBS.